Hey, what is up everyone? This is Linus and today we have the Eula Phone Power 2. This phone has pretty good specs, all metal build, but most importantly it has a huge 6050 mAh battery. Is it any good? Stay tuned to find out. The phone ships with all the usual stuff and there are quite a few extra accessories included. You get a USB ODG cable, a tempered glass screen protector, a nice plastic case with fall leather back and lastly a metal made grip ring. The Yolophone Power 2 is made entirely of metal, it has nice and tactile metal buttons and the device feels great in the hand even though it weighs over 200 grams due to a large battery. Even though Yolophone crammed in a huge battery pack, the phone measures at just about 10mm thick. We have a 5.5 inches 1080p LCD display, which is sharp and vibrant and it has a decent sunlight legibility. Just above the display, there is an interpolated 13 megapixel selfie camera and a LED notification light. The fingerprint scanner, which is embedded in the home button, is fast and accurate and you can also unlock the phone, straight from the standby mode. Also, I love that you can use the home key to navigate through the user interface instead of using on-screen navigation keys. On the back, you can find a 16 megapixels camera with dual LED flash. The loudspeaker quality is decent but not really impressive as on most of the cheap phones. As far as the hardware goes, the Yolophone Power 2 has really good specs for the price. The phone ships with a MediaTek MTK 6750T chip with a clock speed of 1.5 GHz, 4 GB of RAM and 64 GB of expandable storage. The gaming performance is decent but don't expect to play games like Asphalt 8 on the very highest graphics. If you set the graphics to medium, the phone performs quite well. Yolophone implemented a custom skin on top of Android 7.0 and added quite a lot of features of its own. For example, there is a ton of gesture and motion controls that most of them work fine while others seem to be kind of slow to respond. Most importantly, the phone is quite fast on a daily basis and I didn't have any lag or stutter even after installing quite a few apps. Image quality is probably the weakest point of the Power 2. Well, you may get some decent shots out of this phone, but more often than not, you will end up getting images with a lack of detail and washed out looking colors. Also, the phone seems to be struggling with autofocus in some of the shots. Naturally, the low light camera performance is even worse as there is quite a bit of noise and grain in the pictures. The selfies look kind of mediocre, there is a lack of detail and there is a visible red tint. This is the video sample with the Yolophone Power 2. Um, shooting handheld. The 1080p video looks okay for a cheap phone but there could be definitely more detail. Possible as usual. Let's try to walk a little bit. See how the image stabilization works. When it comes to connectivity, I have no complaints. Call quality is decent and even the GPS is pretty accurate. The 6050mAh battery performs really well. With my usage, I could get almost 3 days out of this phone which is a fantastic result. If you use the device more intensively, you will still get about 7 hours of screen on time which is a great result. Finally, the phone ships with a fast charger which fully charges the phone in about 1 hour and 40 minutes. The Yolophone Power 2 aims to bring a lot of value for the price by offering a huge battery and great specs. Well, it succeeds in a lot of ways but camera and 3D gaming performance remain its weakest points. Other than that, the Power 2 is a pretty solid offering for the price, well if you don't mind those shortcomings. 
So at the end of the day, the Yola Phone Power 2 is a pretty good phone for the price as it has a lot of storage and great battery life. But you know, as always, when it comes to budget smartphones, you have to consider a few shortcomings before making a purchase. It was Linus, thanks for watching and as always guys, if you have any questions, please drop me a comment down below and if you are new to the channel, please subscribe and visit gizmochina.com for all the latest and greatest Chinese tech news and reviews. See you soon.